Okay, here's my O1V. I won't demonstrate all the usual sort of stuff because there are plenty of other videos. If you want to see fly or usual flying faders, just look at a different video. What I will demonstrate is what I've done that a lot of other people seem to be having some difficulty with. For example, grabbing one of the controls here, like this, you can see that we can actually update the iPad from the O1V. The reverse does also work, so it's not as if I've completely you know, just focused on doing the bits and pieces that other people can't seem to get. The other thing that people seem to be having trouble with is, we'll flip over to Auxiliary 1, Auxiliary 1, and you can see here, we can generate the sysexec messages required to actually control the faders from the various auxiliaries. And I've actually implemented all the various auxiliaries so we can go through all those and control different bits and pieces. Uh, the other bit that I have is obviously groups. This is actually the main reason why I did it. It actually really irritates me that there is no separate groups control or masters as they call it in O1V speak. But you can see there I've got my basically complete mixing board there ready to go. Now to do this I've got an, a laptop. I've written some custom software rather than Osculator which everyone else seems to be using but one of the big benefits of using my own software is it means you can implement other cool stuff and here's a demo program I did which plays Pong okay the computer just missed the ball there so if we have a look there you can see player wins, game over, and it's just got the stream of, well, it's using, it's saying OSC to MIDI, although it actually means it's the computer generating it. So, for those that are interested, that's what an uh, O1V playing Pong looks like.